Sean Photography and today I'm going to talk about the rice bowls. There are three different styles of rice bowls behind them. They're all pretty much equivalent to the same size. This one here is generation one. Generation one is a rotted system. You have to physically put the rod into the speed ring. Generation two was the umbrella system. So basically you opened it up like an umbrella. Then we go over here to generation three. This is a mechanical spring locking system. The rods are physically attached to the speed ring as well as this one here. What's different between generation three and generation one compared to generation two, there's no zipper system in this. The reason for the zipper is to actually shoot through or add another light stand and have two lights, one facing one way, one facing the other way. So if you only had, uh, you had a 200 watt strobe or the 8200 or the CL200 and you had a speed light, you can increase the power a little bit or if you have two 200s, then you just double your output. If you have two 600s, you have equivalent of 1200 watts head system inside one box by having the zipper. I love the zipper system. Um, the zipper could be incorporated into this one and it might somewhere down the line have that. All three of these have the big white Velcro all the way around the outer lip. That's for the inner diffuser and also your grid. The nice thing about having the wider spot, if you do not want to use the inner diffuser, you can slide the grid back further, leaving you a deeper lip. Therefore, it's easy to feather and scrim the light off where you don't want it to go. Other modifiers, companies that come out, they have the slip over covers. Edward used to have some slip over cover modifiers. But what happens is that brings the light surface all the way to the edge, which therefore it's harder to feather the light and keep light from spilling onto spots where you do not want it. So Magmod, uh, Ellen Chrome have the, the slip-ons. And again, I don't like the slip-ons due to the fact that it's harder to feather. And again, keep light from spilling onto spots where you do not want. That's one great thing about these boxes here. Again, these are deep parabolic styled octa. Therefore, they are made to throw light a further distance than a standard octa. Again, no matter which one you pick, the light quality is pretty much gonna be identical through all three of these. The only time it's going to change is generation two, and when you're shooting low powered through a or through a LED light, not through a strobe, but through an LED light, and sometimes you might get some shadowing off the center system, but that's the only time I've ever seen it. Um, but if you're using a strobe, the strobe fires so fast it actually blows past this umbrella system, just like it would be if it was an open area, like either generation one or generation two. If you have the dim sum dish that attaches to the generation one, it will fit on generation three due to the fact that it has, generation three has two screw holes that you can mount into. So there's one opposite from the other. This will actually screw in. So I actually have the dim sum dish actually physically mounted into generation three. And this is the one that actually comes with generation one and is actually on there. So if you pre-own generation one, and I'm not sure if Edward still sells the dim sum dish attachment, but if he does, you can always order one for your generation three. The nice thing about these systems is you can pick how fast you want to set up. I like the rod system, it doesn't bother me. I can set that up super quick. I can't set it up as fast as either do one of these two, but I can still set it up pretty darn quick. 
Again, this one's going to be the fastest one out of the bunch. This is going to be the second fastest, and that one's going to be, of course, the last. Again, generation one, generation two, generation three. Again, these are all uh, come from Cheetah Stand. These are the Rice Bowls. My name is Scott Wachon Photography, and thank you for watching.